was first and second lit off, and then second, and then third. So the tire were taken out like chunks. That's the noise I was looking for. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm not in normal attire. Uh, sometimes for my job I gotta dress up, but that's all right. But the reason <laughs> I, I'm driving over to this area and um, I got I got a little uh, foot happy in the black truck. <laughs> uh, the, the black truck, the, the one I'm in right now, um, it had good rover on it. And my brother came down and it just so happened that uh, we wanted to do a little Bernie Sanders and we gave her we gave her some sauce and uh, I'll show you what the marks look like but I'll also show you what the tires look like the uh, the front uh, what I did when I put them on this I put the rears that were in the back of Panda on the front of this and then the good tires that had more tread in the back because I was like you know, in case I do like one little little burn burnout, um, I can I I can have enough tread. I don't want to you know blow through the bad tires. I want to at least have some of them because they're square, with meaning like they're the same tires and same size rims all the way around. The problem I'm having right now is that I messed up my Bogarts. <laughs> I came over to the same spot where we're going to now. I came over here. I, I just got on the converter. I just foot braked it. And after, I, I don't know how long it was like this. It, it, the, the brake caliper bracket must have bent or moved or, or flexed because I didn't really do a burnout. I just got enough that I wanted to see what the, I can flash the converter to without doing a burnout or anything. So I didn't do a burnout, got on the converter, which was like 3,800, which I was like, damn, pretty cool. And the bracket must have bent because there is about an eighth inch, ooh, it's, ooh, it's bright. There is about an eighth inch gouge through the barrel of my Bogarts in the back. No, the 15s you probably won't ever see like past the actual face of the wheel, but I see it. And if anyone gets close enough and is looking for it, you'll see it. Now we're at my spot where I was doing my party. <laughs> so, uh, the, I went through first, through second, and then she sat in third for a second, and then back to second. And uh, I'll show you what um, what the tires look like. So just for, for shits, uh, this is what the back tires looked like on Panda. So these were the backs. So the fronts were here and should have a lot more tread. And um, <laughs> I, uh, oh, as you can see, the rubber all the way on the bed, all the way on the bumper, all the way in the cab. And then chunks of the tire were taken out, like chunks. Pretty gnarly. And this thing's got a fucking posse, dude. Oh my goodness. This is all the rubber. <laughs> uh, that was first and second lit off, and then second, and then third, and then second, and then second. Man, this truck, oh, don't worry about that. It's just daily. Pedestrians. Oh. I'll show you what the boat guards look like, but I want to give you an update on this because I thought that was hilarious. And then I thought it was even funnier that I put a scratch on my boat guards. A big one. A big one. So let's go look at those. That's the noise I was looking for. Can I show this roll forward a little bit? I feel like there, so it shouldn't be on the... 
that hurts. And you see it. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. So, yep. I mean, all right, well, whatever. That's what happens, I guess, when you do in, uh, and you have some custom stuff. So we're back. I uh, pulled the wheel off. I have a couple scratches up here. What do you say? You got a thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're called glasses. I need a thing, thing, so let me in. And what we're gonna do today is grind down more of the caliper because. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, right here it looks like there's a couple scratches. That might have just been from me trying to put the wheel on and might have touched the side by accident. See you later, dude. Jesus. But, it's all of a sudden rubbing in the center there. So I'm, gonna, I'm grinding that. That's, that's, that's not going to be an issue. Um, but, it hurt. It hurt these. It hurt my soul. Um, all the way through. And I guess maybe the barrel isn't perfectly, perfectly round because it comes around and there's no, no gash from, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, but from here to here. So I guess it's probably so minute that maybe the bottom of the barrel is just a little bit down or, but it's definitely, definitely gouge. They're dirty from just me driving. So. Try to be as nice to them as I can. This is what I get. But Jack did drop this thing off so I can look professional. And what this is, is a magnet. So when you're working on the wheel well, grinding, no one else's stuff around you gets damaged. So I put on, my buddy had a, a 15 inch Raystar, which is a six lug, fits same kind of drag wheel. And I have about uh, maybe a quarter inch, maybe an eighth of an inch gap between the actual brake and the, the wheel. And I, I don't have the same gap on this. Um, I think the issue is where it actually has that step. I think the Raystar is more of a, of a this distance and doesn't have the step. It's kind of flat the whole way through. And this has the step, which is I think where my the issue is arising. Um, I don't know how other people have gotten away with just bolting it on and going. Um, I, I don't, I don't have that information, but that's just letting you guys know what I'm dealing with and what's going on. I'm not mad about anything. It's just everything's aftermarket, uh, aftermarket brakes, aftermarket wheels. Some stuff doesn't line up between between each other. So, again, not mad about anyone or anything. Just working with what I got. I'm grinding a little bit more to make sure to double, triple, quadruple check because I did this before and it didn't rub and I'm going to just grind a little bit more at the bottom. And then do all that fun stuff. I um, yeah, kind of want to take this off and paint this just like the actual face because of it's like kind of rusty. Maybe that's what I'll do as well today. I should have this before because they weren't like that. I'm painting the the actual rotor. I know the face of the rotor or like where the contact is, that's gonna rub right off. But like, see how this is silver? It looks nice. I'm painting the black ones black because I don't have silver. So at least it won't rust and drip rust on here and get them dirtier faster. So try to keep them kind of clean. I'm gonna go pull the other side off and do the same exact thing I just did here. And then once that's back, uh, 
I get paint. I should probably paint those now. No. We'll do that. I'm gonna go pull the other side off. It, it's never an easy day being here. <laughs> There's always something. We gotta do that today and then gotta vacuum this thing and clean it. Cars and coffees tomorrow. And then gotta clean that thing and do some maintenance. Then we'll get going. Oh no. Pop this thing back in. There we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, well, while the brakes are drying, because I touched up where I ground down and then the actual rotors are home. If I can figure this out to see how much ohm resistance I can get um, and which one's actually better. Because these are supposed to be, these are supposed to work better because of the boots. We'll find out. So one of the reasons why I actually got actual plug wires is because of stuff like this. Uh, these have been on the truck for three years, the actual boots. And you can see that where they get real hot, some of them more so than others, like this one I rotated. Um, and I'm hoping that the new spark plug bars work a little bit better, but I have those spares in case I need it, in case I get in a pinch or something. But while, while these are drying, I'm uh, gonna wash the front half of the truck, get this all done and then I can wash the back half. Um, the reason why the, the brake hit the wheel well, obviously the, the lip in the, the actual wheel is the, I think the issue, but the caliper is a floating caliper, which means when you press a brake, it actually moves back and forth in a piston, like in a rod. And I think when I, when I foot braked it, trying to get on the converter to see what would happen, I think it moved over like further because I pushed really, really hard on the brakes. And I think that caused just the high, you know, high point that was in the caliper to be over in the area where it's really tight. And I think that's what caused the wheel to get scratched. That's my opinion. Don't really know, but that's where I'm at. Well, the truck's all clean. The brake's on and I don't think it's touching or rubbing. And then let's see, the actual uh, rotor looks nice. I can't really wash inside here because I can't get to it. So that's, that's gonna be frustrating until I figure out a way, maybe ceramic coat it. And then this, oh, I need, I need to touch this up a little bit. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go spray some, some more stuff on there, but man. Dude, it looks good. Well, let's see if the brakes rub. It's all clean for cars and coffee tomorrow. New plug wires are on. And every time I've started it up today, I don't know if it's just because I haven't ran it long. It's fired right up. It doesn't backfire at all through through any of the exhaust. Well, um, well guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys later.